Hello everybody and welcome to Technology Layer. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to install and configure FTP Server in Windows Server 2008. So the first step is you need to go to your Server Manager. And in the left hand side, you have Roles. Just click on it. And in the right side, you need to click on Add Roles. Just click on Add Roles, click Next. And select the option Web Server IIS and click next click next scroll down and select the FTP server and click next and click install So we're finished with the installation. Just close this. And first what we'll do is we'll add an user for using the FTP service. So just click on the start button and go to administrative tools and go to active directory users and computers. And just click right click and click on new and group. So create, create a group known as FTP underscore users. and click ok just remember the name because we're gonna we are gonna give the permissions in FTP for this user group only so just right click click on properties and click on member of here you need to add users so first um, I'll add admin and I'll add another user and click OK. So I've added two users to the FTP user group. Click Apply and click on OK. Now go to the Start button and click on Administrative Tools and go to the Active, uh, sorry, the Internet Information Services Manager. And in the left hand side, you'll find this just expand this click on sites right click on it and click on add an FTP site so give the name whatever you want choose the path of the directory I'll make complete C directory as the path for the FTP click on OK click next leave this as it is and select the second option allow SSL click next Select the second option basic and allow access to you need to select specific roles or user groups. Now type in the name which we have created FTP underscore users and check this box read and write click finish. Now once again go to the server manager and go to the configuration and go to the firewall configuration and scroll down and you'll find inbound rules so what we'll do here is we'll open an FTP port on the firewall so in the right hand side you'll find new rule click on this new rule select port click next leave it as TCP and the FTP port number which is 21 click next allow the connection leave this as it is click next next give the name for this I'll type in as FTP port click finish just minimize this and open your PowerShell at this point we are finished with the installation configuration of the FTP server just will test our FTP servers is working or not so just type in FTP space localhost so this will So this will ask you for the username. I'll type in administrator 
and give the password for it. So you're logged in as an FTP user. You can do the FTP from now to this server. I hope this has been informative for you and I'd like to thank you for viewing. If you're having any queries or errors in this configuration, please feel free to comment on the video. If you really like the video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Once again, thanks for watching.